Hi, I'm Teresa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reorganisation of my bookshelf. I've got everything empty. I've got this lovely new one here and I'm just going to film a little sped up video of me organising it. I'll pop back in at the end probably just to walk you through a little bit of the thought process behind where things are and later on I will also upload a bookshelf tour so you can get a proper understanding of what goes on inside my brain. <laughs> And yes, I'm just gonna pop on some funky tunes and let's get started.
are back. I've organised my shelves as you can see. I'm not sure if I'm just quite happy with them yet so there might be some organisation off camera before you next see them, who knows. I've definitely left myself a lot of space on this top shelf and I have books sitting on my TBR that like I know that that's where they're gonna go I just need to hurry up and read them and I've got this new motivation to read them of knowing they'll look fantastic on my shelf which is looking a bit sparse a bit weird right now but I thought I'd just walk you through very very quickly my kind of thought process what each shelf is and of course you'll get a longer version of this when I get around to doing a bookshelf tour so first up we've obviously got this rainbow shelf along the top this is just some of my favorites I think they're almost all queer and yeah it's just same as what it was last time and I like having that this is two shelves obviously that appear in my videos so I like having them nice and having some of my favourites there. And again, we've just got some of my favourites in this shelf, also queer. Uh, mostly on this one, we've got dark colours here and some lighter colours over here. This one is a bit mismatched because you had some hardbacks that were too big to go anywhere else. They would have to go like this or on a lower shelf. And some older favourites off there because they probably won't feature that much in videos and the like. We've got the Sarah J Maas and Cassandra Clare shelves because I've got a lot of their books and they're quite tall so they need a tall shelf. I had actually put these out to be unhauled because they are so big. That's the Dark Artifices books but I ended up taking them back out to put on the shelf because I had space and until I can somehow find them in the same edition as these two. I'll just have to keep those ones. So that brings us down to the bottom of my shelves. So along here it's just boots. <laughs> There's not too much order to it. These are hardbacks so they're on a taller shelf and I've got my Rick Riordan books here. Hopefully that collection will grow a bit. I can get the rest of the King Chronicles somewhere in here. Um, and then some other just darker coloured books here. A bit of a mix, mostly older favourites like The Hunger Games, Maze Runner, Mara Dyer, but just overall a bit of a mix. Down here we've got some lighter coloured spines and again a bit of a mix, mostly older favourites. I've also got my two whole classics that I own way over in the corner, that's The Great Gatsby and The Future Drawing and Grey if anyone's interested. And just down at the very very bottom I've got some other books that I probably should just unhaul but like they're gonna live here anyway. Um, some darker spines as well, just ones that didn't really fit on this shelf. Some hardbacks, big books, ones that just don't really fit anywhere basically so I can hide them out of the way down there. Over at this side I've got TBR shelves and my foreign language books over here. I had been hoping to give them like their own shelf and have like some candles inside and make it cute because I'm planning on getting a few more. But for now, until I get my TBR down, they're going to have to share. So this is the books that I bought or acquired before 2020 and my absolute priority to read. And down here is the ones I'm actually interested in reading. Uh, the ones that I got either last year or this year and I'm most excited by. I'll just shift. This is Halsey's Poetry Collection. But I've got a whole stack there. I've got all of this. It's a bit of a mess but there's a lot of them. I am very much set in terms of reading material. And yes, that has been my bookshelf reorganisation video. If you are interested in watching this in real time, it took about an hour, then I will leave a link to that down below because I actually live streamed it, which is a lot of fun. And yes, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you with another video soon.